Okay, by request today, I have uh, started making another Bluetooth video to try to show how to install Bluetooth on Win 7 Vista and XP. And all three of these right here, doesn't make any difference which one it is, all use the same software and, and, and can use the software that's built in or Windows will automatically update when you install Bluetooth. Now if you have Bluetooth built into your system, which you could have if you've got a card like this, that's a wireless YLAN card there, and that's what's built into a laptop right here. Uh, <clears throat> it's a little bit different on a, a desktop, but on a, a laptop this is the kind of card you have if it's got Bluetooth built into this card, into the processor of this card, then you have Bluetooth built into your laptop. If it's not built into the card here, it can be exchanged for one that does. Uh, you, you can take this out or have it taken out, somebody knows how, and you can have it changed for one that's got Bluetooth. Or you can go the simple route and just... Uh, get you a USB Bluetooth dongle like I said before they come in a lot of different shapes and everything I use one just like this one right here but take a cap off right there and it's USB just like this it's just a cap cover right there as you can see underneath there but uh, <clears throat> I got this one off of uh, eBay if you ever heard of that but you can get them at Radio Shack, you can get them at Walmart, you can get them in a lot of different places. Just about any place that sells electronics, computer shops. And uh, <clears throat> if you don't have it built in, actually this is the cheapest way to go. does just as good instead of uh, getting one of those cards uh, like that. Uh, probably run you about maybe $40 to $50. Uh, but... Um, Actually, this is the cheapest way to go right here. And to get that set up, uh, what you want to do is to be able to uh, run a Bluetooth keyboard or add your phone. These are devices. Everything that Bluetooth runs is going to be a device. Whether it be a Bluetooth wireless printer, headset, keyboard, <coughs> cell phone, iPod, doesn't make any difference. Uh, all these are the devices that you want to hook up to your Bluetooth as devices to be able to use your headphone set wirelessly on Bluetooth or that, your printer or your keyboard. But the keyboard, the headset, uh, has the headset has it built in this has a uh, built-in wireless uh, signal sends out, just like a cell phone sends a signal out if it's got Bluetooth on it. But a keyboard, uh, actually, uh, they're a little bit different. Some of them are. Some of them use USB plug-in jack that uh, uh, would be just like... Uh, this right here, this one, and uh, goes with the keyboard, and some of them send the signal uh, straight out, just exactly like the, the cell phone or the printer or the headset. All depends on which type you buy. And usually you get software that comes with each and every one of these, except the cell phone. Cell phone won't have no software for you to install, but these items you purchase do. And uh, <coughs> cell phone, all you do, of course, it comes with Bluetooth built in, make it where it can be found, put it, so when you search for a Bluetooth device, it can find that cell phone. Or, turn your search on, and uh, the way to do that is to, right here, down here in my corner, you see the Bluetooth uh, icon here, well, I click on that, and you'll go to open Bluetooth settings, open settings right there. And it'll bring this up. And as you can see, I've got this checked right now. 
Usually I leave it unchecked, but I ain't had it plugged into the USB, so it doesn't matter. But uh, you can leave that checked if all if all you're using is one that you plug in now the USB. <clears throat> Otherwise, it's going to be running all the time. And Bluetooth, unless it's built in to your laptop, will add more power. It take more power from your battery. Uh, but if Bluetooth's built in, you got to run it in order to run your wireless internet. So there you go. And if you want that icon down in the bottom, you'll have to make sure that this is checked right here so you can show Bluetooth icon down in the notification area. And if it goes into this little box here, you can right click on say pin the taskbar or just slide it down there to the taskbar. I like mine out there where I can see it instead of have to worry about going into that box. So when you're at this point right here and you know what you want to hook up to Bluetooth, uh, the first thing you got to do is is uh, get it hooked up and and make sure that it's running and um, as you can see in my device manager right here I'm showing my Bluetooth but I can also show you if I pull mine out of the USB it's gone but if I plug it back into the USB it's going to load it back up load the software back up and it's all done as you can see they're back in there okay so now it, here it is it's ready to go and you can always go to properties on that and check your driver see what the date of the driver is this is 2006 but that's that's all right it works good I'm not going to worry about it if you have to update you can try it and one thing about it the first time that you plug that USB Bluetooth dongle into your computer. If you're running Windows 7 and you're running Windows Vista, it will do it automatically online. But you got to make sure you're hooked up to the internet where it can get online automatically by itself and run a Windows update and it will download the software and put it in automatically for you. But if you're running Windows XP, you will have to install get the do software from the download and download it and install it yourself. Windows XP does not have the capability to search like Windows 7 does. Windows 7 uses a different search engine. So we'll get out of the device manager and we're going to go here and we're going to talk about uh, everything here that, that if you got Bluetooth on this laptop here, and you got Bluetooth on another laptop, then you got a wireless mouse, printer, uh, iPod, headphones, cell phones, all this can be added as a device. And each one of these are devices that this one here can communicate through Bluetooth with. So. If you look at it that way, then uh, if you click on this right here and you say show Bluetooth devices, well right now mine has got my daughter's cell phone, my wife, no, my cell phone, my wife's cell phone, my wife's laptop, and her new cell phone she just got. And if I wanted to add another device, I could go in here and say add a device but when I do I got to make sure that that device is turned on and that I've got it set up to where it can be discovered you got to put it in the discovery mode if it's a cell phone or iPod <coughs> or if it's in a headset a headset has got its own way to set itself in discovery mode so See, it's not going to find anything because I haven't got anything right here close that it can pick up. Uh, the laptop's turned off and the phones are gone somewhere right now. So we'll just cancel out that, but that's how you do it. You have to add a device. And 
If you added a found and you clicked on it and said next, it would start installing the software for it and it would put it right in here with these others. And then if uh, I brought up my device to say this new cell phone here, I right click and uh, <coughs> I can go to properties on them uh, and check out the hardware or the services or the Bluetooth. But right now, see, it's not here, it's not turned on, so it's not going to find it. So, uh, getting out of that, uh, if I want to, say, send a file, well, since I have all these in my devices, I can click on one, say, her laptop. And I can say, I want to send her uh, a picture or a music file or whatever. So I say I click on that and I go next. And then it's going to ask me to choose uh, files. I click here, a browse. And say I go in here and I want to, uh, here's a picture. Uh, Merry Christmas JPG. Just say that. Say next. And then it's going to try to connect to her laptop but it's turned off right now so it can't do it so it's unable to do it so we'll get out of there and that's how that works all this is pretty simple I mean it's 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 not hard to figure out if you're having a problem with your uh, uh, laptop or desktop or whatever you're using uh, not showing Bluetooth then some reason or another it's not recognized if, if if you if it doesn't work in one USB pull it out and put it in another USB see if it'll pick it up because you will hear it when it does it'll make a sound you'll know that it has, has connected to it and you'll see down there that uh, Windows has found it and it wants to update the software or whatever it wants to do uh, I'm going to cut this video off right now and I'm going to either leave it at this or I'm going to add a little more to it. I don't know. Uh, this might be all I need. So, uh, <clears throat> until I get back to this video or, or I make another video, this is Shannon Doyle. I hope this helped you out a little bit. Signing off.